Second one, do we have equity? No. Third one, do we have equity? No. Only first option, we have equity. Shares of rupees 100 is the management is planning to another 25 lakh rupees. Interest has to be calculated only on what? Debenture. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Alessa here, lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of excellence and now we are in the session two of your topic called capital structure in the previous session we discussed about all the theory factors along with theory we learned even the format also by using that format will solve one complete examination problem how your examination problem will be and how to solve that problem we'll go for that meaning, concept and problem all will be included in today's session. So this is your first problem on your capital structure and MNC company had currently an equity capital consisting 30,000 equity. They already have 30,000 equity share capitals. Now, shares of rupees 100 is the management is planning to another 25 lakh rupees for expansion and considering three alternatives. The concept is very simple. Already you have 30,000 equity shares of 100. It means 30 lakh. 30 lakh already we have. You need another 25 lakh. So we are not talking about 30 lakh now. We are talking about 25 lakh. You need 25 lakh for expansion. What you are supposed to do, you have three options here. The option number one will be issue 25,000 equity shares and of rupees 100 each. 25,000 into 100, you will get 25 lakh. First option. You don't want to go for first option, go for second option. What is the second option? 25,000 debenture of 100 each. 25 lakh. Don't go for equity, you go for debenture. That is the second. What is the last as well as third option? Now, to issue 25,000 preferences of 100 each. So this will be equity, this will be debenture, and this will be preference, which will give you good earning per share. You have three alternatives. You have to borrow 25 lakh. Should You should borrow from equity. You should borrow from debenture. You should borrow from preference. Which is better? Which will give you more earning per share? Hope you are clear. Now, and what will be the tax percentage? It is 50%. What is your EBIT? Your EBIT is 8 lakh. These are the information required to calculate your problem. Directly I'll go to your problem. Particulars, equity, debenture and preferences. We have three options now. We'll go with one by one in this. What is the first one? We have 25,000 equity shares of 100 each. This will become 25 lakh. First one. Then we have debentures. What is that? 25,000, 6% debentures of 100 each. Now it will be 25,000 into 100, 25 lakh. Debenture is what? 6%. This is equity. This is debenture. Your second option. What about third option? We'll go for this. Your third option, we have preferences of 100 each at 6%. Now, so your debenture also 6%, your dividend also 6%. So it will be 25,000 into 100. The percentage is 6% and it is 25 lakh and this one is preferences. We go with the concept, we go with the format. Now, what was your format actually? Your format was first one EBIT. EBIT. Now, as per the question, what is your EBIT? Your EBIT is 8 lakh. Now we'll go for EBIT. 8 lakh option 1. 8 lakh option 2. 
एट लैक ऑप्शन थ्री ऑप्शन वन इज ओवर ऑप्शन टू इज ओवर एंड ऑप्शन थ्री ऑल्सो ओवर नाउ माइनस वी हैव इंटरेस्ट सो हाउ मच इंटरेस्ट वी हैव इंटरेस्ट हैज टू बी कैलकुलेटेड ओनली ऑन व्हाट डिबेंचर ओनली ऑन डिबेंचर वी आर सपोज टू कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डिबेंचर ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक व्हाट इज द परसेंटेज सिक्स परसेंट नो Twenty five lakh into six percent. How much you will get? I'll calculate. Twenty five lakh into six percent. I got one lakh fifty thousand. First one nil. One lakh fifty thousand, and the second one also nil. Now we have to write earning before tax. So what is the answer? Your answer is this is eight lakh. This one six lakh fifty thousand. This one eight lakh. Hope you are clear. Now, once you deducted interest, the next part will be tax. So, at what percent? Fifty percent. I'll go back. Tax rate is fifty percent. Now. In this eight lakh into fifty percent, I'll get how much? Four lakh. So there is also four lakh. And what about this one? Six lakh fifty thousand. Six lakh fifty thousand into fifty percent. I got around three lakh twenty five thousand. Minus. So this will be four lakh. This will be three lakh twenty five thousand. This will be four lakh. So what is this? This is earning for equity and preference. Whatever earning you have for equal shareholder as well as preference shareholder, we'll do continuation now. Less, less dividend. Dividend has to be calculated for whom? As I told you in the previous session, debentures interest, preference dividend. Now, first option we don't have preferences. Second option we don't have. Preferences and the third option, yes, we have preference shares. Now, your answer is twenty five lakh into six percent. So twenty five lakh into six percent. How much you will get? You will get around one lakh fifty thousand. I'll calculate twenty five lakh. Into six percent. Yes, I got one lakh fifty thousand. Remember, in this, we don't have equity. We don't have equity. We have only preference. We have only debenture. We have only equity. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so what is your answer? So your answer will be. No, so your answer four lakh. I'll copy the same thing. Four lakh minus zero. It is four lakh. Your answer is three lakh twenty five. So three lakh twenty five minus zero. It is three lakh twenty five. So it is a continuation. I don't have space here. I continued in the next slide. Now four lakh minus zero. It is four lakh. Three lakh twenty five minus zero. Three lakh twenty five. Four lakh minus one lakh fifty. It will be how much? It will be two lakh fifty thousand. Up to this, we completed earning available to equity shareholder. Now, what is the format? 
Now you have to find out EPS earning divided by number of equity shareholder. Now your earning is how much? Your earning is four lakh divided by three lakh twenty five thousand divided by two lakh fifty thousand divided by. Hope you are clear. Now once if it is done, divide by number of equity shareholder. Where do you get number of equity shareholder? For that you should do one working note. How to do that? Your working note. So number of equity shareholder. Number of equity shares. Now in this first one existing, second one new, and last one total. Existing in this we have like option A, option B, option C. We have option A, B and C. What is the existing one? The existing one is, I'll go back to question. The existing one we already had 30,000. Before we start our problem, we already had 30,000 equity. Your existing one is 30,000, 30,000 and 30. Thousand. What about new shares? We'll go for that. The new share is equity shares. Twenty-five lakh means twenty-five thousand. Second one, do we have equity? No. Third one, do we have equity? No. Only first option, we have equity. Now it will be second option, twenty-five thousand. The total is fifty-five. Total is 30, total is 30. Hope you are clear, good. Now, I'll come back, divide by 55,000, divide by 30,000, and divide by 30,000. So what will be your earning per share? Your earning per share in this, 4 lakh divided by 55,000. 4 lakh divided by 55,000. I got 7.27. 3 lakh 25,000 divided by 30,000. I got 10.83. And 2 lakh 50,000 divided by 30,000. I got 8.33. So which one is better? If you go for option one, you will get 7.27 earning per share. Option two, 10.83. Option three, 8.33. This will be better. So option two has to be accepted. Why? Because your earning per share is more. Hope you are clear, yes. Now I'll go back to all these slides. Please take a screenshot. So your meaning, uh, your problem first one, your solution part, and your solution part second, and your concept, yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is capital structure. Please work out the same problem at home. You will understand better. Thank you.